वेलकम पोकीमोन को ट्रेनर्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन फीचर ग्रेट लीग रीमिक्स कप टीम दिस टीम इज वेरी कंसिस्टेंट एंड गिव्स गुड रिजल्ट एंड कवर मोस्ट ऑफ द मेटा पोकीमोन्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट जस्ट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो एंड आई एम लीडिंग विद ग्लाइगार एंड देर आर बैक टू पोकीमोन्स विच आर क्रिसेलिया एंड सेबल आय सो ओपोनेंट हैज इज ओन सेबल आय सो इज गोइंग टू फार्म अप अप टू फाउल प्ले एंड थ्रो इट इमिडिएटली I will take it, and I'm going to go for the hard-hitting move. Dig. Let's see if he shields here, and opponent shields here. That's very unfortunate. But I can reach my second dig, so I'm going to throw it immediately. And he's farming up lot because I think he wants to farm up to back-to-back -back foul play, and this gets him very low. Now he can just knock me out with a foul play, so that's fine. I'll come with. uh my own sable eye because i have a shield advantage I'm not going to shield here so i'm going to let this one go let's see and this foul play does half of the damage here comes the dugong i store a foul play and then i switch out into my cresselia because i am thinking that there is a annihilate at the back because there are very common team which are very easy to guess in this remix cup most of the people are running those team so I'm guessing it. There is an eyelip at the back, so grass knot goes through. So I have to be very careful. He might catch my grass knot on the eyelip. That would be very unfortunate. So he's going to keep debuffing me with the icy winds. So I'm going to take it. Not going to shield. Uh, generating back to back grass knot. And here I didn't bubble. I don't know why. And going to do the super effective, but I throw the second one immediately. and he catches on the annihilate but my switch timer is up so i'm going to come with sable eye and i will shield here this could be a night slash so i shield here and now i'm going to go for this foul play this will knock out if annihilate doesn't shield and i can have one more foul play for the dugong but this will grab the shield and i have a cresselia at the back i can let the icy wind go through from on the sable eye and he farms up and he reaches i see when i have one shield and cresselia left so this is easy win for us and we can farm up up to grass knot because cresselia is bit healthy so opponent just resigns the match because there is no win con here comes the dub wool very interesting pick here hopefully is not running payback and he's farming up and i'm going to go for the aerial ace this time let's see if he decide to shield here and he doesn't he lets it go next time i'm going to go for the dig but he throws his energy hopefully this is body slam i can take it and yes it is a body slam very good for us he throws back to back this will get me very low i think on yellow health and yes and now i can go for my dig this will do heavy damage hopefully dub wool doesn't shield here and he doesn't now he can knock me out with the body slam and i'm going to let it go i will come with sable eye even though in losing the lead it this team works very well so i'm going to farm up lot of energy on the sable eye let's see and here comes the venusaur this is not good for us and going to generate back to back foul play let's see if he shields here hoping for the return and he doesn't shield now going for the second foul play and he throws his move this could be a frenzy plan obviously and i'm going to shield here i thought i can farm him down so i am generating lot of energy over farming a lot and i'm going to shield here let's see what the final pokemon is and here is something psychic type i think it's a mew so i'm going to go for the foul play and he shields here so i'm going to go for the second foul play this will grab the final shield and later i can come with my cresselia and i'm just one shot away from the foul play so i swap out into cresselia to take this move and this was a wild charge and cresselia can take the move comfortably and he resigns the match i don't know why he could put up a fight here and here comes the steelix and this game is very interesting i won this without shielding and he throws his move this could be a psychic fang just to debuff me and yes it is psychic fang i go for the bait here 
and let's see if opponent falls for it if he decide to give up the shield and first shield is gone now i throw dig this time let's see if he lets it go i don't think he's going to let it go but he lets it go that's very good for us and now this psychic fang should be enough to knock me out and no it's a breaking swipe and now i can come with sable eye as i said we lose lead but we win the match and i was able to farm up a lot of energy and here comes the powder snow alolan sand slash going for the return not going to bait here if he calls it and yes it calls and now i'm going to switch on to chrysalia he throws his move this could be a weather ball i can take it yes weather ball goes through and here comes the gold bat this is not a good situation unfortunately we are not running future sight so that's why it's not a good situation here he throws poison fang so i'm going to throw moon blast i'm trying to do as much chip damage as i can to make him very low and move goes through my defense has been dropped so he's going to throw another poison fang i'm going to save my two shield for the sable eye to close out the game and i think my switch timer is getting up now after throwing this moon blast i'm going to switch into sable eye and here comes the sable eye now i'm going to totally farm him down this is another poison fang so i decided to flex here no shielding and poison fang called very correctly now i can reach a uh, return this return will definitely knock out this shadow alolan sand slash sorry nine tails and now i can just farm him down with a psycho cut hopefully i can do it and yes we were able to do it without using a shield so let's hop into the next match ferthon versus glygar and he swap outs into glyscore so i don't have a good answer so i'm going to stay here doing some chip damage before swapping out into chrysalia he throws night slash and i didn't throw a move i instead i stored here and i came with chrysalia as night slash is not a stab move for the glyscore so i can take it easily so going for the grass knot and i have generated up to moon blast let's see if opponent calls it correctly and he falls for it now he is going to spam night slash so he generates another night slash so i'm going to let it go until and unless it doesn't boost i'm fine with it i'm going for the my own moon blast this time it will do heavy damage let's see if he lets it go and he lets it go now i don't think i'm going to reach another move he is going to just knock me out with the night slash so i'm fine with it i'm going to come with i think sable eye so this night slash knocks me out no i come with uh, glycar so that i can take this night slash and night slash goes through it gets me very low hopefully sable eye can sweep the team i have lot of energy and let's see what opponent decide and he comes with the mantine so i'm going to spam some aerial ace to so get him low and this is not a good situation here but still we have to put up a fight going for the second aerial ace going to do as much damage as i can going for the third one and he didn't throw he had generated aerial ace by now but he's not throwing it he is going to farm me down and he swaps out into ferrothorn so i'm going to come with sable eye and he reaches power whip and i decide to no shield here and this power whip goes through it gets me very low but next uh, power whip i'm going to definitely shield going for my own foul play let's see it will do damage and half of the health is gone and now going for the second one this will pressure the final shield otherwise i can just farm him down and he shields here and he is going to generate i think he has generated back to back power whip and he throws power whip and i thought of catching a move but my switch timer was not up yet so i am going to shield here i am anticipating that he is going to swap out and try to snipe me but i caught that move on my glygar which is very good and he throws aerial ace now i am going to throw my foul play immediately because he has lot of energy and hopefully i can shadow claw down the ferrothorn so 1 2 3 and yes we won this match by just farm down very close game let's move towards the next match mantine versus 
Gliga not a good lead, so I'm going to safe switch into Sableye. Opponent stays here and he's going to throw AD Lace. This is definitely an AD Lace. I can take it. So AD Lace goes through. I'm going to generate up to return, but he throws Ferrothorn. And this time I'm going to go for the foul play. And I have a two foul play. This will threaten the health of the Ferrothorn. I can knock him out if he doesn't shield. And this foul play hoping that it will shield. Yes, it grabbed the shield. Now I will shield my own Sable Eye and then I will throw another foul play. Hopefully I am on it so that I can win the CMP. And he overs farm a bit and now I am going to go for my own foul play. This will knock out and he double shields here. So I can let it go. And I will come with Gligar to farm up a lot of energy. And I'm going to just farm him down. I can take one power whip easily, but still it will do good amount of damage. And he throws power whip. Half of the health is gone. That's not good. And I was able to farm him down. That's very good for me. And I come with Chrysalia now. And there is an Annihilate at the back. So one moon blast should be enough to knock out. So I'm going to shield whatever Annihilate is going to throw. I think he will survive. Yes, he survives. And even though it's a Night Slash or a Shadow Ball, I'm going to still shield here because I want to save my Chrysalia. And this was a Shadow Ball. And now I can just knock him out with a fast move. And opponent realized there is no win con as I have a lot of energy on Gligar and my Chrysalia is very healthy. Another Mantine lead. So again, going to safe switch into Sableye. And he throws this time, he's not going to swap out. This is another aerial ace, so I'm going to take it. And going for the foul play, over farming a lot. And I generated up to return. Let's see if grabs the shield. Going for the foul play. And he doesn't shield. Now I can just knock him out. I can take this aerial ace. And they say it's a bubble beam. That was very surprising for me. And this time over farming a bit and then going for this foul play. This will knock out if he doesn't shield. Even though I am debuff. And it does. And here comes the Steelix. That's not good. Now I am deciding whether to come with Chrysalia or Gligar. And I come with Gligar. And he's farming up. He's going to definitely debuff me with the Psychic Fangs. And yes, he throws Psychic Fangs. And now I decided to bait him with the Aerialis. Let's see if opponent falls for it. If he shields, then I'm in a good position. He doesn't shield, he calls it. That's very unfortunate. And now I'm not in a good situation. He throws another Psychic Fang. This time I'm going to go for the dig and let's see if he shields or let it go. If he doesn't shield, then it will knock out. But he shields, so I'm going to swap out into Chrysalia and spam some Grass Knots. So far, it is not looking good, not looking winnable, but still, this team, and he throws Psychic Fangs, and I'm going to go for the Grass Knot. This will do good amount of damage, and hopefully next Grass Knot should be enough to knock out this Steelix, and he's not swapping out, so I decided to over farm a bit, so that he doesn't catch on any other Pokemon. He throws another Psychic Fangs, and... And he reaches another Psychic Fang. That's very annoying now. Now I am debuff a lot. So going for this Grass Knot. Let's see what the final Pokemon is. Hopefully this knocks out. And yes it does. Let's see what the final Pokemon is. And it's Escadrill. So I stored a move. Because my defense is debuffed. So I am going to take this move. I have two shield advantage. I think one Grass Knot should be enough. As it is a shadow one. So I can throw first Grass Knot, hopefully this knocks out and he lets it go, it doesn't knock out. So this time I'm going to just farm him down with a fast move, hopefully I can do it, I'll double shield whatever he is going to throw on me and drill run and I think I can psycho cut him down. It's a good game, at the end we won the match, let's hop into the next match, I think this is the final match of this video. And here comes the Mew and he farms up a lot of energy and he surprises me. I lose the CMP on the dig. I thought this could be a surf 
but it's not the case this is the ice beam and it just one shotted me that was very surprising but still as i said we lose lead but we win the match so snorlax comes now that is good now going to go for the foul play and he is going to throw body slam but it is resisted it is not going to do that much damage Look at the damage it didn't do that much so this time i decided to go for the return to knock this out this will knock out from this range snorlax is not that much tanky so in great league at least he comes with the frost lass so i'm going to go for the foul play i have to do maximum damage with my sable eye and let's see foul play got shielded hopefully i can reach my second move and he reaches i think avalanche so I shielded here because I know I can reach my move he throws avalanche and going for the second foul play this will pressure the final shield and once he shields I am going to definitely come with Chrysalia and farming up he is also farming up so I have to put all my faith on Chrysalia so I shielded here but it was avalanche that's very unfortunate and he comes with the Mew so I think this could be a wild charge so I am going to let it go and yes it was a wild charge i can take it i am going to over farm a lot so that i can get ready for the frostless as well so this moon blast should be enough to knock out the mew and grass knot should be enough so grass knot goes through this will secure our win thank you for watching this video till end please like comment and subscribe to my channel and share with your pogo friend till the time take care trainers thank you have a good day